Chenikeshava Temple, also referred to as Chenikeshava Temple, Keshava Temple or Kasava Temple, is a Vavishnava Hindu temple on the banks of River Kaveri at Somanathapura, Karnataka, India. The temple was consecrated in 1258 CE by Somanatha Dandanayaka, a general of the Hoysala king Narsimha III. It is located 38 km east of Mysuru city. The Somanathapura town was founded in the 13th century by a general named Somanatha, Somi Dandanayaka in some inscriptions. He was working for the Hoysala king Narsimha III. Somanatha created an agrahara, that is granted land to Brahmins and dedicated resources to build and maintain temples there. In the town, Pura, became known after the name of the patron, Somanatha Pura. The location is also referred by alternate spellings, such as Somnathpur. In the middle of the new settlement, Somanatha built the Kasava temple and consecrated it in 1258 CE. This was a Vaishnavism tradition temple. In addition to this temple, Somanatha consecrated a Shaivism tradition related Panchalinga temple, literally, Five Linga temple, in the east northeast corner of the land grant. He also built a fort wall around the land, but these are now in ruins. According to the inscriptions and textual evidence, Somanatha additionally built the Purahara, Narasinheshwara, Murahara, Lakshminarasinha, and Yoganarayana temples in Hoysala style in the region, but all these temples except the La. Case Minarasinha have disappeared, after wars between the Hindu kingdoms and Muslim sultanates ravaged the region. The Lakshminarasinha temple is also in ruins. From the other disappeared temples, the sanctum image of Yoganarayana temple is only known surviving artwork, but it too is in a damaged form. The Kasava temple too was badly damaged, according to 15th century inscriptions. It was repaired in the 16th century with financial support and grants by the emperors of the Vijayanagara Empire. The repairs are evidenced by the different color of stones and quality of work in the veranda and Patso. F. The northern tower and platform of the main temple. The repaired temple was damaged in the 19th century, then repaired again in the early 20th century by the colonial era Mysore government. The Kasava temple is one of some 1,500 Hindu and Jain temples built by the Hoysala Empire kings in different parts of their kingdom. The other well-studied Hoysala temples include those at Belur and Helbidu. Ornate temple is a model illustration of the Hoysala architecture. The temple is enclosed in a courtyard with a pillared corridor of small shrines. The main temple in the center is on a high star-shaped platform with three symmetrical sanctums, Garbha Griha, set in a square matrix 89, x 89. Oriented along the east-west and north-south axes, the western sanctum was for a statue of Kasava, the northern sanctum of Janardana and the southern sanctum of Venugopala, all forms of Vishnu, the sanctums share a common community hall, Sabha Mandapa, with many pillars. The outer walls, the inner walls, the pillars and the ceiling of the temple are intricately carved with theological iconography of Hinduism and display extensive friezes of Hindu texts such as the Ramayana, the Mahabharata and the Bhagavata Purana. The Chenikesava temple, states George Mitchell, represents the climax of the development in Hoysala temple style and yet is also unique in many ways.
northern and southern row of small shrines inside the pillared courtyard corridor consist of 18 single shrine and one linked double shrine each. The linked double shrine is at the northwestern and southwestern corners of the courtyard. The western row consists of 14 small shrines, while the eastern row consists of 8 single small shrines and 2 linked double shrines. In total, the Kasava temple consists of 58 small 1x1 small shrines, 4 small 2x1 linked double shrines, 2 near entrance, and the main central temple. The 64 corridor shrines once featured Vedic and Puranic deities and rooms for pilgrims. The statues in the smaller shrines were defaced, their limbs broken or destroyed. Some of the recovered broken pieces are in a heap inside the temple. The collection includes Jaina statues in the Keozaga posture as well as numerous Hindu statues. The ceiling of the southern array of shrines has carvings on its ceiling, the western does not and it have in repair related inscription instead from Vijayanagara Empire era. The northern array also mostly lacks any ceiling artwork except near the stairs in the middle, while the eastern array shows the greatest signs of damage and restoration with most small shrines missing but for signs of their foundation. The main temple is built on a jagati, which symbolizes worldly platform. It is about 3 feet high, star-shaped and has stone steps at its east end for the visitor to climb up to it. Near the stairs, on each side are two Dwarapala, guardian, shrines but these are damaged. Jagati platform circles around the main temple with a broad walking space. It is the production pata, circumambulation path, and is supposed to be walked in a clockwise manner in order to pictorially read the Ramayana, Mahabharata and Bhagavata Purana legends in the correct sequence. The eastern side of the platform is rectangular, while the space below the Vamana temple tower mirrors the pointed star tower shape, with nine points on each side and two linking edges, a total of 29. A stone elephant originally stood at each star point end of the platform, but only 11 of the 15 original have survived in a damaged condition. On the sides of the star side and where two stars of the Jagati platform meet were 14 mid-size images likely of Nagas and 58 images of Yakshas but all of the S are now missing. The temple premises stores seven of the broken pieces found in the early 20th century. The platform appears from distance to be five stacks from the careful molding. 
From the Jagati level, there are four stone steps that leads the devotee into the temple's Sabha Mandapa inside. The hall appears to be rectangular, yet consists of two fused squares and a rectangle. A small square is at the entrance, the largest square in the middle, and a rectangle facing the three sanctum, Garbha Griya, all supported by intricately carved pillars. The main hall opens to each sanctum through a small square-shaped puja mandapa. The three sanctums house Keshava, image lost, Janardhana and Venugopala. Above each of these sanctums rise the 16-pointed star-shaped North Indian-style tower, Shikara. The outer wall of the main temple consists of parallel horizontal bands of artwork carved above the circumambulatory platform. It has three major sections, the basement band, the wall band and the top band. The lowest band in the basement section is about 6 inches tall and shows a row of elephants mostly marching to the left in the clockwise direction the devotee is expected to walk. The elephants are not exact copy of each other, rather show different natural expressions and playfulness of elephants. Some show elephants in what throwing enemies, while others show them teasing the riders in front. The band above the elephants is of horses with armed riders, depicting a military march. In some spots, camels substitute for horses suggesting that the Hoysala had adopted camels into their army. Some spots also show battle scene with horses. In various places, the artists added humor by placing dwarfs and monkeys supporting the front raised leg of the horses. The band above the horsemen freezes as a scroll of nature. It shows flowers, fruits, occasionally some peacocks and wildlife. The band above it is the mythology freeze. It is about 7 inches tall, around 2.5 feet above the platform, and it depicts the legends and spiritual stories found in the Ramayana, the Puranas particularly the Bhagavata Purana and Lass. TLY the Mahabharat, there are numerous panels around the temple that tell the various Hindu fables and stories. Only the early Parvas of the Ramayana are depicted. A few shown at the Kasava temple include. Dasharata makes ritual offerings and prayers for children. Rama and his brothers are born. Babies rocked in cradles, another frieze shows Rama and his brothers crawling on all fours. School life, martial lessons. Young Rama slays Tataka to protect the Rishis. Vishwamitra, Rama and Lakshmana at Janaka's court. Another shows Sita marrying him. Married Rama and his brothers in Ayodhya. Rama, Lakshmana and Sita leave for their exile. They wander in forests and meet various sages. Viradha attacks Sita, Rama slays him. Surpanaki episode. Golden Deer legend. Ravana abducts Sita. Another freeze shows him slaying Jatyu. Hanuman and Sugriva meet and join Rama. The rest of the Ramayana is not depicted, and the Bhagavata Purana starts thereafter. Bhagavata Purana. The band around the western shrine depicts the Bhagavata Purana. Some scenes of the Bhagavata are repeated. A few of the legends from it shown at the Kasava temple include. Reclining Vishnu in the Cosmic Ocean Story. Vasudeva's Marriage Legend. Baby Krishna being carried across the river by Vasudeva. Various freezes of baby Krishna feeding in Gokula, rocked in cradle, crawling on all fours. Krishna kills Putani and Sakatasura. Toddler Krishna steals butter. Krishna lifts Govardhana. Various freezes of Krishna playing with enchanted gopis. Krishna kills various demons and ultimately slays Kamsa. Mahabharat. A few of the scenes shown on the outer wall of the temple include. Dhritarashtra's court. The rivalry between Pandava and Kauravas as they are growing up. Pandavas leaving for forest. Bhima marries Hidambi, birth of Ghatotkacha. Pandavas meet Drupada and stay at a potter's house. Draupadi's marriage partner selection ceremony. Arjuna hits the fish target, Draupadi picks him as her husband. Pandavas return with Draupadi. Yudhishthira plays dice, loses. War scenes. Krishna advises the Pandavas. A scene where a hero does yoga seated in an asana, while admirers garland him. Pandavas win. They return to kingdom.
Above the lower level bandwidth freezes depicting the Hindu fables and legends as a band of mythical makaras, a creature based on the fusion of various animals, and then a band of decorative peacocks. Above the peacock band of nearly 200 relief carvings are rows of secular life of the people and Asamai. Al-sized deity reliefs that wraps around only the Sabha Mantapa, community hall part of the main temple, most of these are defaced and damaged. Some are difficult to identify. The deity-related reliefs are predominantly Vishnu shown in his various aspects and avatars in the Vaishnavism tradition, Bu. T. They include Shiva of the Shaivism tradition, Devas of the Shiktism tradition and Surya of the Saura tradition of Hinduism. For example, of the panels when counted clockwise from entrance, number 12 is of Saura, number 23 is of Durga in her Mahishasura Madini form, number 25 to number 28 are of Shava tradition. The reliefs showing common life of the people include festive scenes, dancers in various mudras, musicians with 13th century musical instruments, couples in courtship and sexual scenes, mothers nurturing babies, hunters and other professionals with pets such as dogs, soldiers, yogi, rishi, individual. LS in namaste posture, couples praying and others. These reliefs also include numerous friezes showing the story of Pralada, Hiranyakashipu and Vishnu avatar Narsimha.
In the case of the three towers, above the peacock band of carvings is a row of larger sized deity reliefs that wraps around the team. MPLE. There are about 90 reliefs showing mostly Vishnu with Lakshmi, as well as Shakti, Shiva, Brahma, Saraswati, Indra, Andrani, Kama, Priti, and others. Most of these are also partially defaced such as broken noses, chopped limbs, chopped out stone jewelry and show other forms of damage. Some are therefore difficult to identify. Some illustrative carvings of large images include Tandiva Ganesha, Dancing Saraswati, Keshava, Venugopala, Janardana, Krishna Legends, Vishnu to be same as Indra, Varuna, Yama, Vasudeva, Yoganarayana, Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, Narsimha, Vamana, Parashurma, Rama, Krishna and Buddha, Dancing Lakshmi in various forms, Brahma with and without beard, Harihara, half Shiva, half Vishnu in various forms, Surya, Durga is Mahisha Suramadini, Dancing Vishnu, the first 60 and the last 60 reliefs have a superior finish and details, while the middle 60. 5, number 61 to number 134, panels are less detailed. Some of the panels are signed below by the artist. The large wall images on the three identical tower superstructures each has an arch torana to frame the image. The western side has simple flat or geometric arches, while the northern and southern sides have intricately carved nature themes, such as hanging fruits, flowers and flower-laden creepers. Some include buds and stages of natural development in flowering plants, while a few include wildlife such as a lion in the center. The tower itself combines intricate artwork, in a plan that alternates rotating squares with star-shaped 16-petaled lotuses. As the tower rises, Antaram Shikaras are capped with Kalashas pots common in Hindu ceremonies. All three towers are of same height. Their plan uses lotus with an oblong projection, four sets of ornamental turrets, rhythmically reducing in height and are capped by a stone kalasa. The carvings on the tower include dancers, Gandharvas, Yakshas, Kirtimukhas, lion faces and mythical animals such as S. Makaras, the top of each tower is shaped as an inverted blooming lotus flower. The original tower tops each had a large stone kalasa, but these were damaged along with the sukhanasa, and the temple was without them. A recent restoration replaced the missing large kalasa with a small cement kalasa. Mandapa Hall is supported by late turned pillars. The pillars, except two of them, are of the same size. All of them, except four in center, have five moldings from common life themes stacked in sequence, disc, bell, pot, wheel and umbrella. The four set of central square pillars of the Navaranga have yakshas and brackets, which have been damaged or have disappeared. The two pillars to the east of the central square are shaped as a 32-pointed star. The Navaranga roof consists of 16 squares, 9 in the Sabha Mandapur and the remaining 7 in the extension near the eastern entrance. These are all carved, each different, each with nature motifs and Hindu theology symbolism embedded. 
Among them is a palm leaves theme, different stages of lotus opening, endless knots symbolizing karma and samsara, one with dancers, musicians, soldiers with standing Vishnu and Shiva in various forms, rafters in Sri Chakra tantric layout and others. Between pillars, the ceiling is domacal and intricately decorated. These decorations could include multi-petaled lotuses, banana bud motifs based on step ponds and snake-like ananta, knots, symbolizing eternity. Inside the temple, each vamana has a vestibule that connects it to the main rectangular mantapa, hall, citation needed. Of the three shrines, one shrine is dedicated to Keshava, but the image is missing from the sanctum. The other two shrines house images of Janardana and Venugopala, all three images are forms of the Hindu god Vishnu. The south shrine entrance has two Dwarapalas, Bhadra and Subhadra. The lintel above the entrance shows Venugopala. A 13th century Lakshmi Narayana carving is shown seated in the Sukhasana yoga pose, with Hima Chakra, Conch, Lotus and Agada, Mace. Past the Sukhanasi are Jaya and Vijaya, while the lintel shows a seated Vishnu and the canopy shows a dancing Vishnu. The South Garbha Griya is 8 x 8 feet square, but includes niches into the wall for more space. The image of Krishna in the sanctum is 4.5 feet high. He wears earrings, necklaces, armlets, bracelets, finger rings, toe rings, anklets, girdle and jeweled diadem. His legs are crossed, head slightly bent as he plays the bansuri, flute, he holds with both his hands. His fingers are in a tapping position, and all beings, from humans to cows, gods to goddesses inside the sanctum are depicted as absorbed in the divine music. Some figures are shown running to listen to the music, their clothes slipping off. Above the householders, gopis and cows are shown rishis, sages, who too are lost in the experience. On the fringe of the images Torana arch above are carved the ten avatars of Vishnu in sequence, Matsya, Kurma, Vie, Raha, Narsimha, Vamana, Parasurama, Rama, Balarama, Buddha and Kalki. The north shrine entrance too has two Dwarapalas, Bhadra and Subhadra. The lintel above the entrance shows Janardana while the canopy again shows Lakshmi Narayana. Past the Sukhanasi, the lintel shows a seated Lakshmi and the canopy shows a Yoga Narayana doing yoga. The Garbha Griya has a 6 feet high statue, wherein the Garuda pedestal is 1.5 feet and the image of Janardana is 4.5 feet high. He wears jewelry and on the fringe of his images Torana are again carved the 10 avatars of Vishnu. The West Shrine entrance is similar to the Southern Sanctum in size and included features. The lintel above the entrance shows a standing kasava while the canopy shows Gajalakshmi. Past the Sukhanasi, the lintel shows a Vakuntha Narayana seated on Ananta Shesha and the canopy shows a Vishnu in Sukhasana yoga posture. The Garbha Griya has a Garuda pedestal that is 1.5 feet tall but the image is missing.
Thank you.